If you are watching this channel for the first time, it's your boy Mr. Ghana, baby. Don't forget to support this brother, MD90, not Final. MD60. <laughs> so, you know what? Subscribe and be part of this family. It's all about Africa to the world. Support Zambian YouTubers. Put it on the record, put it on the record, put it on the record, put it on, put it on the record, 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 put it on, put it on the record, 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 put it on, put it on the record, put it on the record. It's a false, you already know Take the word of God to the world, no metaphor The city on the hill can no hard, it's infallible Never fall back till I'm all we are go Senegal to Portugal, worldwide let us go Yuck and gold it's under, never fall Yuck and gold it's under, never fall Yuck and gold it's under, never fall Look at the tax breaks and tax incentives. This government cannot give any tax incentive to the local businesses, to the Zambian businesses. But if Azungu, Bamuisa, they are being given tax holidays and tax breaks. But the indigenous Zambian businesses are not given any tax breaks. Look at the penalties they give them for ZRA. If you skip a payment, they will come on you. But this government is losing 3.8 billion U.S. dollars in paying back what they call value-added uh, uh, VAT refunds to the mines. They are losing billions paying back to the mines, but they can't do the same to the ordinary Zambian men and women. And you see, they also don't want ordinary Zambians to do business. I'll give a critical, ex classical example, because this is something that I found to be very very sad. You have Mikalile. Mikalile trading. Mikalile, we were together at the University of Zambia. Mikalile is one of um, the excellent Zambian entrepreneurs. He, he, he has created thousands of jobs for young Zambians. He runs hotels. He runs motor vehicle businesses. He runs butcheries. He's built piggeries and abattoirs, employing thousands of young people, giving them jobs and an opportunity to raise their families. He has been doing business since UNIP, MMD, PF, and today UPND. And look at how they have followed the Mikalile. But by the way, this government owes the Mikalile and Mikalile trading hundreds of millions of dollars not kwacha dollars which they haven't paid him for the works he has done they don't pay him and yet today they want to suffocate his businesses you can look at him with steven mulengauja and say you are fixing him because in their heads they think he's pf i don't know whether when he was doing business in unip he was also unip when he was doing business in mmd he was also mmd when he was doing business in PF, he was also PF. And now that he's doing business in UPND, I don't know whether he's now UPND. When you kill Mikalid, I'm giving him as an example of Zambian indigenous businessmen that have made it, that are providing jobs, that are creating employment for thousands of young people that are being squeezed out of the market. They are refusing to give him any businesses. They are refusing to pay him for the money that they owe him. He is among the hundreds of business people whom this government is refusing to pay, whom this government is refusing to give them the money that they, ha that they owe them. What they are doing is to kill these businesses. You won't kill Mikalide. He will eat. But you are going to kill the thousands of the young people that are working for these lodges, for these butcheries, for these motor trading institutions that he has built. Most, so most, this one, this 
Why is it that this government which says it is looking up to the private sector to create jobs is actually suffocating the private sector? There are a lot of things that they have done wrongly and you see this is how they are suffocating the private sector and I just wanted to itemize a bit of these things because they are critical for the Zambian people to understand what, what, what these people are doing. This is wrong. If you look at what they are doing, the private sector here, and there's a report from the United States and uh, the government of the Republic of Zambia, the USAID and the government of the Republic of Zambia did uh, a study and uh, they, 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 these, these are the issues that they raised in their report. This is a government report. It is not a PF report. It is not an Antonio Manza report. This is a government report. Okay? This is a government report by the UPND government. And this is what it states. 97% of the people in this country that have been employed, 97% of all businesses in Zambia are contributing to 70% of the country's GDP. And more importantly, they are contributing 88% of all the jobs in Zambia. This is a report by the government, UPND government, jointly done by the Bank of Zambia, International Labour Organization and USAID. They are saying that the statistics show that SMEs, small and medium enterprises, account for 97% of all businesses in Zambia. And they are contributing 70% to the country's GDP. And more than 88% of all the jobs in this country have been created by small and medium enterprises. People like Mikarile, people um, like you and me who are selling on the streets, we, people like uh, Ndambo, James Ndambo, people like 5FM, uh, you are the people that are creating these businesses. And this report further goes on to say the following. And this is a government report. It's not my report. It's a government report. And this is what it says. That uh, first of all, it is difficult for the, for the Zambian businessmen and businesswomen to make money in this country. Why? Because government has refused to, to pay suppliers and contractors. The colossal sums of money they owe them. Number two, is that the cost of doing business in this country is beyond normal. The escalating cost of fuel, water, electricity, transport, rentals, land, and now load shedding is pushing a lot of businessmen and women out of business. Number three, that government is, cr is, is crowding out the private sector with its excessive borrowing. This government... Mr. Kainde Sami Chilema used to pride himself as an economist. He used to boast that he was an economist. Today, this man and his government are borrowing heavily from the private sector. And they are getting the private sector out of the business. Every month, this government, Ikongola, six billion from the private sector, crowding them out from the business. And four, that access to financing is extremely limited and expensive due to cumbersome collateral demands and the high interest rates that banks are charging. Where still, access to markets, especially foreign market, is very difficult due to high cost of transport, storage, high taxes, stiff competition, among others. And lastly, that all the major businesses are being given to foreigners at the exclusion. Thanks for taking the time to visit my YouTube channel. Make sure you click on the subscribe button, you click on the notifications to get the notifications of every video that I upload. I try to upload every week, sometimes every day of the week, but definitely each week you expect a video. So make sure you click on the subscribe, like this video, and there is much more on the playlist. So visit the channel and see you around.